Well, Chris dropped me an email and said, France, can we maybe look at Impala Platinum? I, I bought the share many months ago, and he would like to know if he if he needs to take some profit now. And um, let's have a look here. I would like to show Chris something here. I just want to close that. There you are. Um, Chris, I mean, um, it's almost like Sabanya. When um, Sabanya started to give us some buying signals, nobody wanted to believe it. I can remember even um, on, on the show talking technical we showed here when this bounce off the 40 week moving average now this is the 40 week moving average this is a, a weekly chart once again chris because it sounds like you're a, a long-term investor when it bounced off this 40 week moving average i said listen guys something is on the boil here and the chart looks okay and and at that point in time we could also see this resistance line turned into a support and there you are there you can see it bounced off there, it came back, it gave us a new good buy kiss, and that was around, um, at, at that point, 23.01, but we almost showed it earlier on, and it, the big thing was this little falling wedge. Now let's have a look here. There was the falling wedge. There was a falling wedge earlier on in September last year. Let's just zoom it out a little bit. We can always come back. Look at that. What happens here is, there was a falling wedge developing after months of selling. And it bounced off there, it came back to test it, and from there, the rally started. Now, so your first buying signal was at around 18 Rand. <laughs> Chris, so I don't know if you bought it at 18 Rand, but it's now just above 100 Rand. But what's important here is, look at the steep rally. It, it gives you the steep rally to the top, then it pulls back, and then it gives you another steep rally. Now, for me, of course, for those viewers that are watching the show for many years will know that I will immediately say that this is a lamp pole formation. And look what happens after a lamp pole formation. It's just too good to be true and it pulls back. The same year, it rallied from about 55 Rand all the way to 105 in one go. Well, to give you an idea, that happened all from August. From August this year, the share went from about, let's call it 70 Rand, and it's now at 105 yesterday, 105.73. So the important thing is a lamp pole formation usually triggers some profit taking. It doesn't say that the trend is going to change and something is going to go wrong and the stock is going to, to fall on a heap. That's not true. What it tells you, when a lamp pole formation is showing you this, it can easily give you a pullback. So, so Chris, if you are a long-term investor, first thing to remember is that if you want to hold on to the stock, there's your guideline. This is your guideline. This 40-week moving average is your guideline and it ran way past that now if you look at this always just have a look there this 40 week moving average look at it when it started to consolidate below it it remained there below that for quite a long time same thing here when it turned into a support it remains a support for a long time but if you are happy with your profit and i said it many a time on the show if you are happy with your profit just take it and go you can always buy it when it comes back. But if you are a long-term investor, the, your support line that I can maybe look at apart from that, that 40 week moving average is this line there. Let's have a look there. That will be there, there you are. And that will be at 87.57. Now that is almost 12 to 13% from these tops where it's heading now. But for me personally, the psychological level will be this 100 rand level. And the reason why I'm saying that is I would like to show the viewers the following. Let's have a look at Impala Platts. And then you will see what I'm showing you. There's the daily chart now. Remember, that was now the weekly chart. Strong, and now we're going to candles. And, and the viewers know by now that I'm, I'm loving candlesticks, Japanese candlesticks. And what do we see here? We see there, yes, we've got this beautiful rally all the way, let's say, from 70 Rand. But we had a tweezer top a while back. It gave us a pullback, let's say, from 86 Rand to around 81 Rand. And what are we sitting here? There's another tweezer top here a few weeks ago. That is between, and it was from 97 Rand to 92 Rand. And here we're sitting with the tweezer top again. So for the traders in Impala Plat, watch out. This tweezer top is telling me that something is on the boil. Yes, you will say, but Franz, look at this strong bullish candle. I want it to close above this line and I'm going to show you there's the line I want Impala Platinum to close above 
that little line. And that line is, um, that's the high of that candle, is at 106.01. And yesterday it closed at 105.73. While it's below 106.01, this tweezer top can maybe still prove that the stock can maybe come under some pressure. And for me, my trend line here, of course, is this one. When the stock breaks below 100 rand and it breaks this trend line, it can easily pull back all the way down to 91.87. And you can even be surprised that it go back all the way to this low of 80 rand 34. So Chris, if you're happy with your stock, hold on. But if you are a trader, be careful. And if you want to maybe take some profit when you sh when you uh, a short term investor or a share short term trader, it's maybe time to think about it. Unless we can close above that 106.01. Veronica said she was looking at some capital. And she liked the share because she believes it's a good company. And yes, of course, it is a brilliant company. It recently announced some, some good profits again. And everybody is happy with that. And what I want to show you, Veronica, look at the share. And it does it every time. It gives you a beautiful rally. This is again a weekly chart. It rallies up, it gives you a pullback, it rallies up, it gives you a pullback, and it rallies up. Now you will say, France, but it must go way past this 1,444, and that can maybe be true. But what happens, the stock is already, again, overbought. So I will not chase it for me. For me, first, do you know where I will chase the stock? I will chase the stock when the, the stochastic is rock bottom, and it's oversold. Then it's time for me to look at the stock. When it's overboard, I'm just sitting on my hands because there's many other stocks that you can buy. And again, you've got the lamp hole formation. But the clue here is this 40-week moving average. Look what happens. The 40-week moving average showed us now from 2016. We can actually go a little bit back, I think. There you are. It remains above it. It breaks below it temporarily. It rallies up. It goes below that, it breaks below that for a while, then it rallies up the same exactly here. Now, the big thing is we need to see now if Capitec can break this 1,400, let's call it 1,450 rand level, and then we can go to all new highs. But for me, this overboard situation worries me, and we'll have to see if that holds. And this little lamp pole formation also worries me, because remember, it rallied all the way, let's call it from 1,086 to 1,300 rand from August. I mean, that's a nice rally um, in two and a half months. So you can easily expect some pullback there. So Veronica, I will not again chase it. I will not chase it with a lamp hole formation. I'll maybe wait for it to come back to this 40 week moving average that it consolidates a little bit below that. And then when it lifts its head above it, I again, you can look at it. But for the moment, for me personally, it needs to, but um, unless if you want to chase momentum, it needs to go, and there you go, it, it already broke that 1,333. If you want to chase momentum, you can do so, but use then this stop loss of 1,257.26, the 40-week moving average, as your stop to protect some capital. Well, John asked me about NetAir, and he is a long-term investor. He said, France, I bought it for a, for a, a three to a five-year view, now, uh, I just want to say to John, John, uh, nowadays a three or a five year view is a long term view on, on, on a share um, because the market is just so, um, you can almost say, um, volatile because it, it, it shows you the one day up and the next day down. And, but a three to a five year view, I mean, this is the stock since 2014. I was about 46 Rand and it's coming all the way down. But what I like about this stock, John, is the following. We've got this overhang. It's almost like Nepi Rock Castle. Um, it's got this overhang resistance here. And we need to, and when I like, look what it's, it remains about the 40 week moving average. But if you want to add on your position, because he is, remember, he's a long term buyer and he would like to add in weakness or when the share shows him some strength. So you must either add close to this 40 week and that's around 22 and 10 or if you want confirmation you will add above this resistance line and that is at 24 and 50 then you know it takes out this resistance it turns it into a support and it can maybe go even further so if i want to buy john i will say yes you can only buy above that resistance line or close to this 40 week moving average and let's give you a stop loss the stop loss will be the low of that spike there 
20 rand 60 cents and if you want a tighter one i will use 21 rand and 51 cents well trish of course is um you can almost say in love with anglo gold because she said the stock treated her so well and um she she is so happy because she said she bought it a year or two back now so she is very very happy i mean it's almost like an impala guys it rallied all the way it's way above its 40 week moving average but the momentum is so strong and and um, trish i will say hold on to your stock uh, don't sell it because the momentum shows you that it's beautiful up and it looks like it's heading to this high again <clears throat> but i will say just to to to, to protect yourself there is the first sign of weakness there's another place as well that i'm going to point out that will be the first one i'll give the level through now and the other one will be you see where i'm going i'm going back to previous highs to see where where some strong supports are lying there you are this i will hold on to the stock while it's above this high and that high was at uh, 305.46 many years ago just want to make that line a little bit better there you are there you are um there you are 305 46 will be the warning it's now at 324 49 so it's the momentum is beautiful to the top i will just hold on and then if it breaks there the, your next warning signal will be below 274 <clears throat> but the problem is that's about 50 rand from here that's quite a lot so and remember always gold shares are cyclical and if they turn, they can turn quickly and they can surprise you either on the nice side or on the bad side. So I will say hold on to your stock. There's your warning signal. But I think to chase it now after such a beautiful rally is maybe a little bit late for those that haven't got anger gold. Well, thank you. We'll talk again.